Hello and welcome to an unboxing video today. So this is my trusty River 3 Plus. And what do we have here? This is the EB600, a expansion battery which sits right underneath the River 3 Plus and the connection points are built in, giving my total watt hours to 858 watt hours which is quite substantial for a very portable unit and this also has it can be used standalone with a USB-C port in and out so I'm going to unbox it and we're going to set it up and see what it looks like there we go they're about the same dimensions um, this is 572 watt hours and this is actually the 270 watt hour version slightly less than the 286 but anyway close to 858 watt hours in total almost a kilowatt of energy in just these two things and I like how you can use them independently so you can charge them up together or you can charge them up separately and you can detach one and put one in one room and the other in another room so um let's turn this thing on i assume it's got a little bit of charge looks like there's about 40 percent 30 40 percent and we have a single usb-c port 140 watts maximum output it's not much in the box because don't need any cables or anything just got the protective foam very well packed and a quick start guide so basically what we have on top here is the cover which you pull off this actually might get lost might need to stick it somewhere um at the back i don't think there's anything interesting there nope so i'll just put the river three plus on top and we'll see what happens okay we're connected and it's showing the total battery percentage of the units combined 55 percent and the River 3 Plus did have another cover over it. It looks to be different. So the River 3 Plus is a bit skinnier. And that's for the extra battery of the EV600. So, um, what do we have up here? We have, it says port. So I guess we're using the expansion battery port. And everything else seems to be normal. So what we're going to do is we're going to charge this up with solar, put it back over here where I have it really crammed in there next to my 3D printer as a EPS and we'll charge it up. Now I'm just in the app here. It doesn't show you that it's got an extra battery on this screen. What if we go into it? Still doesn't really show you. It's just a really, really faint where the charge 55% is, but there's an extra battery. So we click that, we tap, tap that, sorry. So the River 3 Plus unit is at 98% and the extra battery is at 33%. So 268 watt hours plus 572 watt hours. So yeah, I'll charge it up and we'll go from there. Okay, we are charging from solar. About 100 watts of input, that's from the 160 watt EcoFlow single facial portable panel outside and it's going to take about 5.2 hours so it won't finish charging from solar today it's almost almost uh it's 20 to 1 it's only got a few hours of sunlight left and it's a bit cloudy outside but yeah this is great i've got so much extra capacity now so I'll check in with you a bit later when it's all charged up. Okay, while it's charging up, I thought I would quickly show you this little splitter I got as well. So it's a USB-C to two USB-A female ports. So I think this is a lot more useful than just having one port. And seems to be working because I'm charging some 18650 lithium ion batteries with it yeah i'll leave a link to this cable in the video description if you'd like to pick up one yourself 
All right, I'm going into the firmware update page of the River 3 Plus because I figured that there might be an update for the extra battery, the EB600. So I'll update that now. There we go, we finished. It's evening now, it didn't get charged up fully today, but that's okay. We'll have some sun tomorrow, hopefully. But what I want to do is do a one quick test before I say goodnight. And that is using the USB-C port from the EB600 and plugging it into EcoFlow River 2. See if I can charge that up. Um, I know that the EB600 is rated for 120 watts, I think. I've only got this 60 watt power delivery cable. Let's see if I can get 60 watts into it. See what happens. Is it going to charge the river too? No, it's gone the other way. <laughs> it's going the other way. How do we do it? How do we do it in reverse? Anyway, so that's what happens when you plug in an EB600 to the input of a River 2. You end up sucking power out of the River 2 into the battery of the EB600. Okay, just before I decided to say goodbye, I thought I would plug it into the USB-C port from the River 3 Plus because that's only an output port, it's not for input. So in theory, I can get the power into my River 2 to top it up but it's also sharing the capacity from the EB600 yeah so that's how to charge your River 2 from a River 3 Plus the next morning okay it's next day I'm actually charging this up with AC because it's going to be raining the next couple of days it's going to be cloudy don't know how much solar I'll get out of my little 160 watt EcoFlow panel over the weekend, so I'll top it up with AC from my DIY uh, 12 volt box. There's a 60 amp hour battery in there, and there's a 600 watt pure sine wave inverter. So this just sits in my shed, and I'm not going to be in there for a while. So I will dump the power from this into the River 3 Plus with EV600 because I'll be using that more in my office, and the the 12 volt box will just charge up slowly in the shed again, ready for when I need to use it. I've reduced the input speed to 500 watts because my 12 volt box with the 600 watt inverter can only take 600 watts. The River 3 Plus can take a maximum of 640 watts, which is above the rated specification. I'm here in the app at the moment. And one of the good things about the, the new units, the River 3 Plus, you can simultaneously get AC and solar input at the same time. Uh, my Delta 2 couldn't do that. It's only one or the other, but, and it prioritizes AC. So yeah, a reason to get the new units because you have better statistics as well, like this. Input and outputs just better monitoring and automations overall so yeah I thought I would like the Delta 2 Max but I'm waiting for the the new version of that maybe the Delta 3 Max or the Delta 3 Plus is probably something I'd consider getting in the future as well I didn't charge it up all the way from my battery box left a bit in there but as you can see we're 88% full still getting something from the solar outside kind of so we can't really see but it's pretty cloudy outside but yeah so this is the the growing tower of power at the moment really happy with this unit and stay tuned for more videos on my eb 600 with the river 3 plus